my Lord and my God. I firmly believe that you're here, that you see me, that you hear me. I adore you with profound reverence. I ask your pardon for my sins and the grace to make this time of prayer fruitful. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, my Garden Angel, intercede for me. In today's first reading, we will hear about the sad story of Tobit and Sarah. This reading is from the book of Tobit. And Tobit was sleeping in his courtyard, taking a nap, when some bird droppings fell on his eyes. He developed cataracts as a consequence of that, exactly the most fun thing that can happen to you. Obviously, his cataracts and the problem with his eyes led to a lot of problems. Until finally, he gets into a fight with his wife over a goat that she has been given as part of payment for something she had done for someone else. And Tobit ends up getting really mad because he thinks his wife has stolen the goat. And then he's really upset and he complains to God, saying like, why have you given this to me? Like, take my life. Take me from here. Very similar story for Sarah, who is Regal's daughter. She had been married seven times, but every single time she gets married, before she's able to consummate the marriage, her, her husband died. All of them, one after the other. It's amazing to think that guys were still willing to marry her. The fact is, she there was this demon who would kill them. And she also prays to God, complaining a little bit for a situation, understandably so. And she's bringing this to our Lord and saying, hey, you know, take my life. I don't want to keep living like this. If every single time I get married, my husband dies, I mean, who is gonna, ever going to get married with me? And then what's the point? Two very sad stories. Two people who believed in God, trusted in God, but were in very difficult situations. Circumstances were horrendous. And in a way, they feel abandoned by God. But still, they go to him. They're faithful. Of course, in their desperation, they're asking God to take their lives, to kind of, don't let me keep living in this world. But they both put it in the hands of God. Lord, help me. They're very honest in their prayer. They don't just go there and tell God how grateful they are for everything, because obviously they are not necessarily grateful for the circumstances they're living in. And they open their hearts completely to God, but they keep trusting Him. They don't abandon our Lord. And of course, God listens to their prayer. He does not abandon them. He doesn't take their lives. That was not his plan. He actually had better plans for both Tobit and Sarah. And those plans were connected. We know later on, this is in common today's reading, but we'll kind of mentioned at the end of today's reading how God would send his archangel, Raphael, who would get Tobias to go and look for a remedy for 
Tobit, and he would get to know Sarah. He would end up marrying her, and they would pray together. And then when they consummated their marriage, he wouldn't die. And then he would go back with the Archangel Raphael, and they would heal his dad from his cataract. So everything ended up being great. They all lived happily ever after, I guess we could say. But what I want us to pray about during this meditation is but the example that, that these two people are giving to us of honesty and trust in God. I like their prayer because in a way it is very honest. I and mean, they just they pray to God what they are feeling. And sometimes we will be going through rough times and things will be not exactly the way we want them to be. And in our conversation with God, it's hard to just pretend like nothing is happening because we are suffering, because things are not easy. And God doesn't expect us to just be grateful for all the bad things that happen to us. Of course, we, we can see the good in that. I mean, everything is for good. And even the contradictions, difficulties can be seen as part of the cross of Christ and we, we can be grateful for them. But, but many times... We're going to be sick and tired. We're going to be kind of like complaining. But turn that complaint not into an opportunity for rebellion. Bring it to God. Lord, this is how I feel. I'm not happy. I'm disappointed. I'm tired. I'm overwhelmed. I can't take this any longer. But still, hopefully, we can say, like Tobit and Sarah, Lord, I put it in your hands. This is what I want to happen. Maybe like Tobin and Sarah, you kind of would love to kind of just, okay, be able to die and go to heaven. But maybe we have our own solution for the problems that we're going through. Okay, God, I want this or that. But then we leave it in his hands and we trust our Lord. knowing that he is listening to our prayer and he has a plan. Whatever that plan is, he won't necessarily send us an archangel like he did in this case. He won't necessarily solve our problem like he did in this case. He knows better and we need to trust that. He loves us. He cares for us. And somehow he will bring something out of that suffering, out of that circumstance. And maybe we all have that experience of looking back into our lives and realizing that, hey, that thing that I went through was kind of worthwhile. I didn't like it. I didn't enjoy it. I wish I wouldn't have had to put up with it. But you know what? It taught me a lesson. It made me stronger. It made me appreciate what I have a little bit more. They may be more grateful for the good things that God has given me. God, give us that trust and love and faith in you. Jesus, help us. So that like you prayed in the Garden of Olives when you were being faced with your passion and death, which obviously was not fun, that we can also Accept the will of God and take on that sacrifice, the challenge that God has put in our way and see it as an opportunity for redemption, for uniting ourselves to the cross, to your cross. Let us learn from Tobit and Sarah to be honest, terribly honest with our Lord in our prayer, but also that we trust him. That we put ourselves in his hands knowing that he has our best interests in mind. That he loves us like a father only can love. God, help us increase our faith and our trust in you. I thank you, my God, for the good resolutions, affections, and inspirations that you have communicated to me in this meditation. I ask your help to put them into effect. My Immaculate Mother, Saint Joseph, my Father and Lord, 
my guardian angel, intercede for me.